We are going to talk about data in this module because it's critical to all applications and the cloud is no exception. Cloud computing allows us to take advantage of all the hardware and scale in these data centers. So let's take a look at some of the most important aspects of cloud storage. For different types of data and different use cases, Azure provides a wide range of data storage options. I will demonstrate this to you. We will then move on to data processing. When we talk about moving data around, we are talking about ingesting it into your database and storing it permanently. When it comes to preparing for analytics, which we will discuss in the next module, we will need a system that can accept and store data in a format that can be used by various analytics tools. There are a number of characteristics that come to mind when we talk about databases in the cloud. They have to be able to grow. We talk a lot about cloud scalability, which means being able to deal with spikes in traffic, large amounts of data, and a lot of database interactions. They must be accessible. Our data must be backed up in a secure location that is accessible 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Moreover, they must be universal. As a result, we can store our data in the most convenient location for our users or in a location that complies with our compliance and regulations, thanks to the cloud's global data centers. All of the options we will discuss here are capable of meeting these criteria. In order to ensure high availability, Azure's data storage solutions are designed to scale. Our applications have many options for global scale now that there are so many data centers available. Additionally, cloud-based databases or data storage can be self-managed, which is a factor to consider. This is most likely what you're used to hearing or reading. Virtual machines or containers that run a database software service can be provisioned in the cloud and managed by us. Cassandra, MongoDB, or a relational database could be used. Predefined images are available in the Azure Marketplace so that you don't have to build your own container or virtual machine from scratch. It's all set and waiting for you to use it. I call this self-managed because you'll be responsible for managing the compute, whether that's a virtual machine or a container, as well as the disks and other components that come with it. The data centers and infrastructure are being used by you to build and manage your own instances. As a result, you'll have to take care of patching any containers or virtual machines that you create. However, service-based data storage in the cloud is where we can get the most bang for our buck. An instance can be provisioned here. If we want an instance of something like a relational database, we don't want a machine or container. The scale characteristics are still up to us. Why do we need this to be so fast? What kind of burden do we expect to carry? Exactly how much data will we be storing in this case? However, this has the advantage of being managed by Azure. As a result, there is no need for patching. Managing the infrastructure isn't necessary in this case. Your primary concern is the safekeeping of your data and ensuring that the data service you choose will meet your requirements. Additionally, you don't have to worry about patching because it will be done automatically for you and you can take advantage of the most up-to-date and secure backup environment without having to manage it yourself.